Hello guys, this is Snakes95, and we are going to be playing the Flash game Tripod Attack, developed by Anagmatex Software. It is not quite a new game, but it is the badge of the day on Congregate, so I figured I would give it a go. Um, let's, I, I apparently have played this uh, as of the achievements. I played it back in, uh, ah, apparently actually last year. I don't remember it. I'm sure if I start playing, I might. Currently, the music is muted. I figured I'd mute it just in case it's a little too loud. Um, we will jump into the game in a second. As of the description, it says, Humanity is a virus that occupied this poor planet. They replicate uncontrollably and eventually destroy their environment. It's time to clean up. It's mouse only, upgrades, alien, action, war. Those are the tags that are currently, you know, the top tags for this game. So let's hop in and see what we got going on. Choose day. We'll choose day one. I don't assume... I'm assuming we probably can't upgrade anything off the bat. So, let's let's get in. Okay. I do recognize this game somewhat. I mean, I, I don't remember anything else, really. It just looks familiar. Although I do see we're, we're zapping away some dudes. I don't know why, but we're zapping them. We're killing them. I, I guess we're on the uh, the evil side of things. Oh shoot! I overdid my recharge. No bueno. Let's let's get in them out of here. I need, I need some special ability, but it does seem like we're doing pretty good. I just gotta focus on the, uh, do short bursts and focus on certain things over others. Although I, I am going to die, because, you know, these are the sort of games where you gotta die and then come back and upgrade and then do better. Well, actually, it's day one, so we can survive. Like we just did. Okay, that was a minute. I'd say I did. Amazing, you know. Killed some soldiers. Good accuracy. Credits. Whatnot. Okay, we don't have a lot of flexibility here on what to do. We could save up, go for one of the other things. Or... I think we should go for damage. But I mean, recharge is probably out there. Yeah, we'll go for damage, because I mean, if you kill stuff quicker, then you don't have to recharge. As if they're dying, it takes less time to kill them. Like, you see how quick these guys are dying? That's pretty quick. I just gotta, like I said, keep doing short bursts, which I definitely recommend. And these guys do not look fun, so take them out as quick as possible, because you can see they destroyed my shield rather quick. Fortunately, I can destroy them just as quick. If I see those guys taking them out before I take out the normal dudes. Oh, shoot. Gotta keep my shield up. Progress, we're halfway. As for this little marker on the bottom. Oh, there they are again. Those guys are worse than the vehicles, in my opinion. Alright, these guys are draining the heck out of my, my stuff. I'm gonna overheat at this rate. My shield's down, too? Come on, man. At least I don't think I have to repair my armor, so I got that going for me. Come on. Bam. I wish that could drop and blow up the other vehicles on the floor. But it doesn't work that way. Ah, we beat the level. I went to check the progress and it was done, so I will gladly take it. Alright, we can upgrade the damage again, but we can upgrade other stuff. We're able to spend energy more slowly. Our shield is definitely going down a lot, so we want to cut that. Then we'll get shield to recharge. I mean, I usually go for the, you know, the best off. Defense is the best off. Oh, I can't wearing it wrong. Uh, well, no, I was wearing that right. The best uh, defense is the best offense. I feel that way. In certain situations, I mean, you know. I mean, right now my shield is just recharging quick. They were not able to take it down, which is, that was pretty awesome. Regardless of how many times they're messing it up. So that, that might have been a good investment. Although we do have a lot of dudes shooting us right now, so I don't know if we're going to be able to hold this without this. Let's try and get rid of all the infantry. 
so we have less things shooting at us. And then go for the vehicles. Uh, we should probably not overheat, because that's not good either. Uh, the shield's going to be up in a moment. That was messed up. I just recharged. You can't really, like, once you're... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm dead here. I don't have any... I'm losing... I'm sure this is, like, the, the last wave, too. Ah, oh, that was rough. You can restart this day or restart to the previous day and collect some more cash for upgrades. Also, you can watch our video walkthrough. Gonna go with a restart. What does it do? Doesn't it didn't say. Although I do like the idea of going back and getting more cash and stuff to upgrade so you can like, you know, come back stronger in case you are having tons of trouble at the moment. It's not like you're not gonna be able to do anything then. I really gotta prepare for that moment. Once those right before the tanks started rolling in, everything else with that wave, that was ridiculous. I I could do like barely anything on that. I just think, like, if in number those are messing me up more than anything, and I should just take out the infantry, or I should focus on those vehicles before I get the infantry. It seems like it was good to get the infantry first, though. I mean, I, I can't tell. Entirely, anyway. I think we're holding out a bit better now than we were before. Yeah, I'd say so. I don't know what I'd change. I think I'd just use my ray better. Oh, uh, shit, we got choppers. Choppers aren't good. Unfortunately, I was able to use the ray on both of them a little there. I'm watching my ray charge, like, so carefully. <laughs> Alright, we, we beat this wave. That was pretty good. Wasn't too much of a pain, fortunately. Armor strength. Armor will be more durable. We don't want to have to worry about our armor. Alright, we do have to repair it, too. That's a pain. We want to be able to keep our shield up regardless. Do recharge on that, and recharge on the ray. Because, uh, yeah, the problem is, once the shield goes down, it's, like, impossible to get back up, because... When it's trying, once it uh, comes back up, it's not full, it's like, you know, 1%. And then you have to deal with these guys blowing it up in, in like a second. Less than that, really. That's the problem. I'm going down already. Fortunately, the, over, the recharges are definitely noticeable. Okay, we're doing good here, we're doing good. I should probably focus on the rocket dudes before I got the vehicles as opposed to that. Just because they really do tear away your shield. I mean, with the recharge, I guess it's not as bad, but it's still something annoying. And these guys on the other hand, they're just a waste your charge, so you can't focus on big things like the tank. We're going to need to upgrade our damage, though, if we keep getting stuff like this. The choppers are what destroy you, because they take up so much. They got so many other things hurting you on the ground. And speak of the devil. You actually will miss the ray a little bit with them, that's the problem. They actually try to dodge you. And you're probably not going to hit two choppers at the same time with the ray. It's just a lot more difficult in my opinion. As I said before with the infantry, they're just there to make you uh, overheat. But, yeah. Sharpshooter achievement. I have no idea what it is, but I'll take it. I'd like if it gave me credits, though. That that would be good. Ray damage or shield strength? We should probably go with shield strength, unfortunately. We'll get the heat radius, even though we should probably be saving up our money. Which we're not, because we're not smart. Come on. Let me up with the heat ray. I want to be able to hit guys closer to me. Doesn't seem like it was a worthy investment. Shoot. I'm trying to focus on the infantry and I got these vehicles all over on me. Like right now my recharge is doing pretty well. I should just chill out with these on me. Like you, you keep doing your thing. What's gonna happen here? Are they gonna send in the new guys or are they waiting for me to take this wave down? They're waiting for me to take this wave down. Which can be smart to take advantage of, I'm definitely noticing now. So you can just lay everything charge back up like your shield, your ray. But you gotta time it right. You can't just know in between the waves how they work, right? 
and you know timing the amount of damage that they're doing to your stuff. You gotta make sure your charge is faster than their damage. Like I can definitely keep maybe one tank on me. I, I wouldn't say two. Two seems a little much. Right now, see? This is good. Because we can let our shield and ray charge up. Now we're only 60% of the way. That was a good, like, uh, pit stop. That's what I'm looking for. So that's a, definitely a good technique I would recommend if you can time the waves correctly. You gotta play it like you're playing any other wave. Like, in between, like, waves of the day. I'm not saying, like, the whole day. But each wave, you gotta play it right still. Because you never know, oh, hey, there could be another chopper coming and I did just waste time. Now I have a stupendous amount of things on me. So, it's risky, but if you do it right, it's definitely worth it. Also, that chopper is pushing it. And I am not in a good position. I'm gonna overheat at this rate. They are wrecking my armor. I'm... Oh, shoot, the other one was there, too. That was pretty rough. Turn to the previous day. <sighs> let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Day four. Can't hurt to get even more money. It'll give us a uh, advantage in the long run, I suppose. Now, what is up with this? I don't remember this from before, even though I probably should. But that is, this is their. What is this? They just thrown everything at me in the beginning. Like this is this is hardcore. All right, I'll do my my strategy of let's. Oh no. I didn't have the recharge quick enough, so with their rockets, cannon, whatever stuff hitting me, their shells, I wasn't able to get my shield back up in time, and I took a ridiculous amount of armor damage. So we gotta keep our shield up, otherwise we're gonna get wrecked again. Fortunately, we're halfway through already, so shouldn't be too much of a pain. Just gotta save my charge for whatever they send at me. Like that tank. Bam. Done. Ain't got nothing. Okay, the next step I would say is damage. I would suggest that in my opinion. Ah, uh, now I'm screwed because the next day I'm gonna have this low armor and I wanna repair it. I know I don't want to, but I kinda have to. I was thinking a way of kinda cheating, which I guess isn't cheating, it's just a way to help you in case you are struggling. Leave and then come back and then do the day that you're up to. You'll probably have full armor. I'll have to check the upgrades to see how they what they do on that, but that, that might work. I'm not gonna try it right now anyway. Might just repair. Uh 50 no matter what, that's pretty nice. Now let's see how many cards we have. 774. Can we upgrade our damage and still go? Yes we can. It still repairs what I meant to say. Break capacity. Armor. Break capacity. Oh shoot, I was wrong on that. It only repairs some of it. Also, I guess it doesn't show up there and down here right away. Yeah, there we go. Shoot, should have realized. I am for the, you know, repairing part part of the way as opposed to repairing all of it for a specific cost, though. Because it is better when they allow you to repair along the way as opposed to them just being like, hey, you know, all right, it costs this much to repair all your armor, and it costs like more the more damage you are, because then you might not be able to repair all that because you don't have enough money. So it's good to either have a set amount partially, like it does in this, or allow you to repair as much as you want for a certain price. Which is preferable, but this works. I'd say this is better already, especially with the ray charging slower, or using up slower, I don't know. It recharges as well, that's not what I meant to say, that doesn't. I'd say we're doing rather well. Only day five, though. I have to look back. I don't remember how many days. How many days? I think it was like 15. I like how this game, though, is telling us, you know, play the evil being and kill humanity. It's not quite Skynet, but it's not quite good either. So there's that. Okay. No, I thought we like finished yet. I'm looking at the progress, and it's like 75. And I'm like, that is not right. We just wrecked so many people, and there's something going on there. Oh, this is that one. Shoot, 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 shoot. We might still lose. Shoot. All right, good. We're fine now. And 
since this, is, I believe, is not the last wave, we're going to do our idea, and there we go. Oh, no, that was the last bit. That was the whole 12%. That was not worth 12% that one vehicle. Let's repair all the way up. We have to. I want to do our shield strength. Do I want to do it? Do I want to do it? Ray damage is there, too. I'm going to go with ray damage. It's probably not my best idea. I mean, hey, if we're taking them out quicker, by all means, can be good. I like how I can just really mess them up easily, though. Oh, the vehicles are dying pretty quick now, too. Unfortunately, my ray is draining way too much, so that, that's going to be a problem. Because the vehicles have just turned into the, uh, the, the latest to drain my charge, basically. Alright, let's see, can we get... Nah, we can't charge quick enough. That recharge on the shield is quick, I will say. But it's still terrible when you have just these little guys picking at your shield when you're trying to recharge. It's the worst. These guys are like nothing to me now. Like, it's noticeable that when they're all hitting you it's, and you're not doing anything, yeah, they'll probably do some damage, but when I'm hitting them, they're going down. Okay. I like how my head kind of moves up and down. There could probably be a better method of taking this thing down other than, you know, just sending tons of military units and stuff at this guy from a street. Should probably be hitting them from all sides, like forward, backward, left, right. I don't think we're doing it quite right. There might be a flaw with this strategy. I could be wrong, but there might be a flaw. I'm not positive. Alright, let's go for one more day. What, what should we get? We are shielded dirty ball that time. So we'll go with ray capacity and ray. How many cards do we have? 600? Ray recharge. We'll do the repairs. The ray recharge is kind of, you know, whatever. Screw it. That truck does not look safe. It was either going to let stuff out or it was going to do some damage. It seemed risky. It seemed like a suicide bomber, almost. Which is another thing. I feel like these these lakes should be pretty easy to take out. I could be wrong, but oh my god, those are ridiculous. The amount of people and vehicles are sending at me, they could just send those all the time. I do not want to find out what the deal is with those. So I'm going to keep killing them until they get close enough. Let's, let's do that one. I wonder if I can hit people off... No, okay, I'm off the screen. I know some games where you're able to hit people off the screen. Like, games like this, and you're hitting them before they're even showing up. That's always worth trying, just to make... Just to check, because sometimes that'll really help you more than you know. Wherever there are large amounts of people, like, next to each other, go for it. It'll be worth it. Quantity sometimes is tough over quality. Okay. A minute, we'll do one more. One more. Then we'll call it. Ah, oh, shoot, we could have gotten ray damage. We'll go with shield strength. Armor strength, I mean, whatever. We're, we're doing it up. Day eight. I'm surprised we were actually doing this well. I mean, I did back out and work on some of the other things. Uh, get some extra money is what I meant to say. They're sending so many trucks at me that I can't even focus on the choppers. Unfortunately, the choppers aren't doing enough damage to me to be a problem. So, that was, that was working out. I was about to say, if that was the whole, like, day, that was pretty easy. Problem is, there are too many of these trucks. There's so many of them. It's gonna be a problem if they keep sending those at me, I will be honest. As long as they go in front of, like, the tanks so I can hit both of them at the same time, we're, we're good. All the way. I'm trying to hit both of them at once, but that heat radius thing does not help. I swear. 60%? Is that about right? Or is that say 50? I think it says 50. Either way, we're going to wreck some tanks and vehicles. Fortunately, only one of these things at a time isn't a problem. The, uh, thing, missile sam things. 
when there's two of them, it, it can take my shield down. Maybe not as bad now, but just two of those, not the biggest problem. Two of those with some other things, problem. That's why we gotta get on those as quick as possible. Yeah, that's that's a big thing. Definitely try to hit whatever you can the second it appears. Like, you wanna get on that so it makes the least amount of progress to you. Especially if something that needs to get closer in order to hurt you. Like, these guys aren't even shooting yet, but they're not even getting the opportunity to either. So that's, that's a plus. They can't really do any damage anyway, but, you know. Eh, I guess they're, they'd be annoying probably uh, next to, uh, along with other stuff. Like when you have, say, a bunch of infantry shooting you after the missile tanks or whatever laid, like, destroyed your shield, then you're probably going to take some damage on the armor and it's probably not good. Alright. So hopefully that sound wasn't way too loud and you guys were able to hear me. I'm, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers... If you didn't really hear my commentary, because I'm not sure my editing with my Flash videos isn't the best right now, I'm working on it. If it was too loud, I'm sorry. Don't don't hurt me, please. Otherwise, you know, enjoy the video. It's Tripod Attack by... Uh, by I'm looking. I have to go to the main menu to actually see the developer, because it's different in the... Uh, but the different by the user. Enigmatex software. It's tough to say. But yeah, I wanted to make sure to get it right because I didn't want to say the wrong thing. Although it is also created by Oleg Antipov, the user. So I believe that's his name. Credit where credit is due. Um, feel free to check it out. I will have a link in the description, as always. I, As you all know, I'm a fan of upgrade games. I did another one, uh, uh, another one earlier this week. So, you know, it's whatever pops up. The upgrades will always do well in the Flash genre. Otherwise, thanks for watching as always, guys. This is Snakes95. Checking out.